Hi, my name is Amanda Magdalene, U.S. Women's National Field Hockey Team midfielder and proud Lafayette College alum. Today, like so many others, I'm celebrating National Girls and Women in Sports Day. Sport is not important because of the final destination, nor the wins and losses. It's important because of the many experiences and lessons learned along the way. Resilience, determination, hard work, teamwork, leadership, courage, discipline, and confidence are all byproducts of these moments spent playing the game we love. That's why it's important for girls and women to participate in sport, because sport teaches us that a challenge is meant to be overcome. Failure is necessary for growth. Collaboration builds community. Leadership is selfless, and that self-belief becomes success. Sport empowers women to dream big and break barriers on and off the field. Join me in celebrating those that paved the way and those that will continue to challenge the status quo. Happy National Girls and Women in Sports Day. My name is Elizabeth Ireland and I'm from the Washington DC area and played field hockey with Beyond Sticks, Southeast Storm, and finished my career at the collegiate level at the Catholic University of America. I still also coach for Beyond Sticks field hockey. I traded in my field hockey uniform for scrubs almost three years ago now. This past year, with the pandemic especially, has forced me into an environment where I am extremely uncomfortable. Field hockey taught me how to deal with uncomfortable situations, and most importantly, when you are in these situations, you look to your teammates for help and guidance. It is important for women and girls to participate in sports because it helps develop friendships and strength that will take you into the professional world. When I encounter stressful situations at work, just like I did on the field, I rely on my teammates, or as now, my coworkers. Field hockey and the people I met throughout my career helped me become the strong ICU nurse I am now. Sports helped me learn how to be a leader, a hard worker, and a role model for those who come after me. I am forever grateful for that. Happy National Girls and Women's Sports Day. Hi, my name is Alexa Bracco, and I'm one of the youth development coaches over at Long Island Field Hockey. Here at Long Island Field Hockey, we believe in inclusion and growing the game for all, which is why we've started the first power hockey program in the United States. Power hockey is a way of adapting field hockey for girls and women with intellectual and or physical disabilities. We believe in growing our athletes' confidence, increasing their endurance, and most importantly, having fun. It's my responsibility as a woman and as a field hockey coach to empower my girls with disabilities on and off of the field and overcoming whatever adversity life throws at their way. Happy National Women and Girls in Sports Day, everyone. Let's grow the game. My name is Mary Austin. I'm here with my daughters Ainsley and Caroline. I've had the privilege to be coached by some outstanding women during my life as an athlete, starting with my mom, who is my field hockey coach in high school, and uh, then at the University of Iowa, where I've played field hockey for four years. And I've had the privilege to coach now my girls in their sports, softball, and field hockey. I think it's so important that women and young girls can be coached by, uh, by women, and when it comes from the same family, it's extra special. My name is Jasmine Smith. I'm the owner of Icons Field Hockey. I am the head coach. And for one of the questions, it was how would I, you know, express navigating through the sports world as being a former athlete um, especially a woman of color. And my advice would be to never give up. You are going to witness countless barriers. Um, you are going to witness count, countless um, situations that will prevent you from attaining your ability to be successful. But none of that can stop you, nor should it, because you have the opportunity to, to set the catalyst of the next generation and that's the most important piece is always staying focused on exactly what your end goal is it's like running a suicide and by the time you get to your last yard run your body is going through a metamorphosis and in those moments are when you have to push through in order for you to finish and that's exactly this race that we're 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 in right now so push through, that would be my words.
I think it's important for women and girls to participate in sports because the more we play the sport that we love, the more we break the stigma around women in athletics, and we can also inspire future generations to break the mold even further. So I play field hockey because it brings me a lot of joy. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, and it shaped me because it taught me how to be um, a good teammate and a good leader and how to work with others. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I play field hockey for Wittenberg University. Field hockey holds a special place in my heart because it has taught me to have confidence in myself and has brought me lots of lasting friendships. I think it's important for all girls to be involved in the athletic community to empower them alongside other strong women. My name is Cecilia, and I play field hockey for Wittenberg University. It's my goal that we create a community that includes and accepts all women and empowers and encourages girls to strive to be the best that they can be. My name is Lauren Richardson and I play field hockey. I think field hockey is an awesome sport. I hope field hockey inspires girls and women to, to work harder and not be stopped. Anything is possible when you decide to do it. I would like to thank Coach Mallory, Coach Lexi, and Coach, Coach Courtney for everything they've done for me and others like me. Girls rock and roll. Sport has given me a lot of opportunity. It's given me the opportunity to pursue my passions of playing and competing. It's also allowed me to learn more about the game and find myself as an individual. It's also allowed me to form great relationships with strong, empowering, inspiring people. Through all of this, it's allowed me to have a voice, use my platform, give back, and dream big for myself and future generations to come. Happy National Girls and Women in Sports Day. Today, we celebrate girls and women across the country in our ability to compete with one another. Now, we may not be able to do so today because we're in the midst of a pandemic, but it's still a day we're celebrating. I believe that sport is one of life's greatest teachers. We learn some of those important life skills and go through some life lessons while engaging in something fun and exciting as sport. We're able to test our limits, but also see the endless possibilities and what we're fully capable of. We come alive. We find our, our own identity through sport. And it's because of that that I believe that is so important that girls and women continue to participate and engage and celebrate the fact that we are a part of sport and sport is a part of us. And whatever role we take on, whether it's a player, a coach, an umpire, a fan, a parent, Whatever it is, continue to engage in sport and continue to support your fellow women and girls participating in that. And with that, happy National Girls and Women and Sports Day to all of you. How has field hockey contributed to my life and how has it shaped me? Oh, that's such a great question. Um, but I would say that field hockey has afforded me the opportunity to live a life that I don't think I could have even dreamed about. I have been able to travel the world, experience cultures that I had only read about in books. I have friendships that are due largely because I decided to pick up a stick and stand on the field next to somebody that had a shared interest. Field hockey gave me an outlet to channel my feelings and emotions. It gave me a voice to speak when I didn't know that I had something to say. Um, I learned about love and relationships, resiliency, disappointment, um, work ethic, um, and being a good teammate because I decided to pick up a field hockey stick and play a team sport. So field hockey, sports in general, has made me the person I am today and I wouldn't change a single thing. Playing field hockey has shaped my life in so many different ways. It has taught me how to manage my time, communicate with others, and set goals for myself both on and off the field. Sport has really taught me the value of collaboration and unity. It's something pretty special when you can have girls from different backgrounds, beliefs, and personalities all come together to contribute towards something that's greater than themselves. I want to leave a reputation of acceptance and inclusion in field hockey because I think sports and field hockey 
has led me to a lot of great friendships and a great community. So I honestly think sports is a way of life and it's just been such an integral part of my life. It has brought me so many places. I'm all the way from South Africa and I'm playing here in the US. So I think sports is just a great way to get to know yourself, to get to know people, to get to know a variety of things in the world. So it's just really a great way of living life. It's a way of life. For this National Girls and Women's in Sports Day, I thought I want to share with you a poem, I think, that really encapsulates um, what sport has been to me, and it's called The Grace of the Game. I wrote it in 12 and 12 during the chaotic preparation for the London Olympics, and this is it. When I was young and the song unsung and the melody of play sweeping me away, the grace of the game called me, me by name, I heard it. Through open ears, wisdom beyond my years, in the tap of a ball, beating back, drumming against the wall. I saw it on long summer drives and in the joyful slapping of fives and courageous eyes, the power beckoned itself alive. And I felt it in the fever of night and morning bright and afternoon calm, the whispers of a wordless psalm. I found it. Yes, the grace and the focus of a face in the midst of a race running tirelessly at a breathtaking pace. I found grace in a timeless space, on a field, wheels steeled, in the power of a hand, obeying a command, a flick of a wrist, a bend, a swoop, a twist, a wand swung, magic run, birds sung, and poof, like that, the game was done. Grace was won.